the global food system must be transformed. It's actually already started, and in most cases, governments aren't leading it. It's changing from the roots with individuals, organisations and movements, connecting globally via vision for a healthy system that supports everyone. A growing desire for change has been gaining momentum, and its focus is a system with global solidarity, where we listen to the unheard voices and needs of all, and act out of cooperation, not competition. Where we share resources fairly and value the environment, and where everyone has enough to eat, always. This shared vision that is growing from the roots is pressuring governments and corporations to change their old ways, giving way to innovation and increasing solidarity. Consumers are putting pressure on companies to shift to ethical and sustainable practices. Governments are now being forced to intervene on rising food prices, and steps are being taken toward better policies and trade agreements. Whether you work on a local, regional, national or global level, you can be a part of the movement to grow a better future. These are what some of the possibilities look like, but they are just the beginning. New ways of thinking, producing and consuming. A paradigm shift in agriculture towards more sustainable and ecologically friendly practices that benefit the world's 900 million small farmers, not just agribusiness. We don't just focus on crop yields, we focus on quality and distribution, better waste management, sustainable consumption and green consumerism. Adaption to climate change and a reduced vulnerability to impacts, as well as a global deal on climate change to ensure countries are working together towards more sustainable practices. We preserve our resources and share them fairly. We take action on trade agreements. We regulate banks and reform bad policies. We support small-scale, environmentally friendly production methods based on local knowledge. Women are empowered and the door is open for them to join the conversation on land use. We support communities to fight against corporations that are trying to push them off their land. We invest in smallholder agriculture so that communities can support themselves and don't go to bed hungry. How are you and your community impacted by the global food crisis? What are people doing to address these issues in your community? How can you help grow the movement?